Let me ask you about TG Cahar, it's on the big screen behind you there. Yeah. Um, what sort of a factor do you think it has been in the development of the game, and maybe the wider game, but even your own game maybe from watching it years ago at home? I think, no, it's absolutely brilliant that TNG have um, sort of shown a lot of the women's games, especially to the likes of the junior level too, where, I mean, a lot of people wouldn't really see ladies football on television, and the likes of the junior, it's a real incentive for, for teams to get to the All-Ireland final, you know, and sort of showcase our game as well, and... I mean, I think it's absolutely brilliant. And without it, I think you know it would struggle a lot more. So I think I think it's brilliant for the game. So, as a Waterford girl in particular, would you have watched a lot of TG Cahar coverage down the years of All Ireland Senior Finals? I would, of course. Yeah, like um, as you said, TG Cahar were promoting Waterford ladies football and football all over Ireland. And as a child, I would be sitting at home watching TG Cahar and seeing the lads um, play their games. And as I said, Siobhan Ryan lifting the cup for Waterford and. As a child myself, I always wanted to do it myself, so hopefully again I can do it this year. They really promote the game. I know from speaking to younger girls up to the years, they've been watching our matches and, you know, um, they can identify TJ Carr with ladies football and they, um, they suppose they just aspire to play and to be on telly. And it's great to be um, like the men, you know, suppose, get that little bit of um, media coverage. Uh, yeah, so they're, no, they're, they're great, the sponsors. I mean, we've just come back from a trip that they funded a lot of um, sponsors in Toronto there and without them, none of this would happen. So they're an absolute brilliant um, sponsor. I think myself, I remember being here in, was it 2004 when Goway won the All-Ireland? I was out on the pitch jumping behind the camera, so on, teen, on TG4. So it's great coverage for the ladies' sport all around, yeah. It's been going 11 years now. Would it have inspired you uh, as you were sort of taking up ladies' football over the last 10 years or so? Absolutely. Do you know, we are suddenly starting off back then in the county scenes, so it was something that, like a big deal, do you know, to be seen on telly when you're that age. So um, it has really, and um, hopefully it'll inspire, inspire young girls coming through as well when they see it. All the, the league finals were televised, like, and that was a lovely, it was a lovely park. It was a novelty to be... Uh, to, have it, to say you're on telly or whatever because again like it's, we're not like um, long for this in a big marquee name <laughs> we're not we're not rounded often in, uh, in on television so even from the um, Parnell Park and the league series it was great that people at home could actually see the game and it inspired them to come and support us in Kilo for the replay we had a lot more support but that was thanks to TJ Carr. Tracy Lawler you won the All-Ireland in 2001 first year of TJ Carr's coverage what do you remember of that? Um, God, very little right now. Um, but it was a, it was a great boost. It was great for people who couldn't get to our game that they got to see it on the television for that first year. Um, it was massive for ladies football. I think it's grown from strength to strength since. And even in the last few years, we've been in all our semi-finals, and a lot of people had said to me after that it's they've seen the Montelli, which wouldn't have happened before. So we've a massive audience now that come to the games and then that see them on television. Ladies football players are a lot more recognisable than they, they would have been before TG Carr got involved, you know, and that's, you know, it's a great boost for ladies football and I think it's no, it's no coincidence that ladies football has been growing ever since TG Carr got involved. Yeah, I suppose it gets more people behind the game. I think, um, I suppose it was hard to get people out to follow ladies football for a while, but it's getting bigger and better in the country and there's more people getting involved in playing it and I suppose seeing it on TV and getting to watch other people playing TV and all is great for football like, and it gets more people involved in it all, so it's good. Yeah, I've actually came back in when I was about 26 and there was great coverage of the ladies. It's a huge boost for ladies football, and especially for underage players who are coming through. They'll hopefully, like, we'll be on TV a few years to come, you know. And for underage, again, I think it's brilliant. Like, it's a huge boost for ladies football. Great sponsorship, you know. We were ourselves here in 2007. We won, we were lucky enough to win the junior championship, and it, just to see first of all ourselves as a county on this on the big screen was unbelievable. And then to have little children come up to say, "Oh my God, we saw you on the television!" And you could just see all of a sudden they were aiming, "Where can we get there?" You know, TG Kahar Hadji, we can be on there in a few years' time if we push ourselves. And even the little five-a-side little mini blitzes during half time and that where they get their little pictures taken, and it's brilliant, you know. And even for the sport itself, we were, I was watching last year. Probably the best game I've seen all year was the Cork and Dublin minor game and it was just to see it and to see them at an under 18 level and the skill level they had it just you know it just gives you the boost to push on and push on and push on and again as I said Kilkenny were tough to find you know football is tough to see and literally being able to see it on TG Cahar is just an amazing step for us as a county to, to just have see everybody out there and you know give us an aim to achieve you know so that's pretty much so it's a great yeah TG Cahar fantastic sponsors in fairness so
Do you remember sitting at home in Belfast as a young girl watching any particular players in TG Cahar down the years? We've been going since 2001 with the ladies football. Yeah, well, I suppose you can't really you always see Cora Staunton. I mean, she's always the one firing the goals in, and I suppose you see that. And I suppose it's, I suppose it was about 10, 10 or so years ago. Like, and I definitely dreamed about playing in you know the All Ireland Finals in Croke Park. Like, and I never really thought that we would one day get there. And we were very fortunate to get there two or three years ago. And uh, I mean, hopefully it'll be the same year. It'll be great to get. But um, I mean, of course, Staunton be one of the players that we would have aspired to be like. So I suppose that gives it gives young girls, you know, an idol for someone to to look up to and you know want to be like. So.